Hola de nuevo, aquí estamos hablando de las expresiones idiomáticas en español. Ok, idiomatic expressions in Spanish. Ok, now, so we're still on the A's, and las A. Uh, ok, so we have now, aquí tienes, aquí tienes. Ok, now, you, I'm sure you've heard this before. Ok, aquí tienes means here you have it. Ok, um, And if you were in a hotel and the, and the receptionist was giving you the keys for the room, she would say, aquí tiene usted, aquí tiene, okay? Just the interesting thing about it is that in English we say, here you have it, here you have them. In Spanish you don't need to do that. You don't need to use it or them. There's no pronoun in it at all. You just say, aquí tiene, aquí tienes, yeah? So, you're giving somebody something, mira, el, un café, mira, aquí tienes, okay? So, don't worry about putting a pronoun in there. You don't have to say, aquí lo tienes, or aquí los tienes, aquí tienes, okay? Excellent. Now, this one, bueno, we're in the bees now, way bees, bueno, okay? Now, bueno means good. Clearly. Okay, so just a normal standard sentence. Es un chico bueno. Es un buen chico. Es una chica buena. Okay? So he's a good boy. He's a, he's a good boy. She's a good girl. We've done um, a, a blog in El Aula on the differences between bien and bueno and all of that. I'm not going to go into that. But I just want to talk about the other ways that bueno is used because it isn't just used to mean good, okay? Bueno is also used um, to start a sentence and it's used exactly as we would use the word well. You know when you say to somebody, you know, say, well, what do you like to eat? Well, uh, I like fish and, and meat, okay? Well, in Spanish that would be, ¿Qué te gusta comer? Bueno, me gusta el pescado y la carne, okay? So, people start the sentences off with bueno, and it means well, well. See, I'm saying that in Spanish, no, it means well, not well, okay. Um, so, also, it, I hear it used, you know when, when somebody, if you see something, and you think it's like goodness gracious i hear them say bueno 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 i suppose it's like well 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 what's going on okay or you'll hear them they're looking at something they'll go bueno okay imagine somebody walks in and they're looking very very strange somebody might go bueno and that just me is like goodness well dearie me okay So it has, it's quite a flexible word. In Mexico, when people answer the phone, they say, bueno, bueno, well, they don't do that in Spain. They'll say, dígame in Spain, okay, or whatever. But Mexico, bueno, okay. Well, talk to me. All right, so that's bueno. Now, next expression. Caerte bien, caerte mal. Okay, the verb caer is to fall. Okay? And caerte bien means to um, get on well with somebody. All right? But what it's like the other way around, we say to get on well with somebody. And what uh, Spanish speakers say is that that person falls well on me. Okay, which is a bit strange, but that, you know, they kind of, it's that way, all right? So, for example, you say, Sabes, esa mujer me cae muy bien. So what are you doing? You're saying me to me, and then you're changing caer to her, because the, the just like you would say, esa mujer me gusta, And the me is about it's coming to you and gusta is referring to the woman. It's the same with caer. 
So you say me cae, or if you were talking about they, I get on well with them, me caen. It's kind of a mixture of getting on well and liking, but it's in a relationship kind of way. It's very different. If you say, um, esa persona me gusta mucho, you like them. It's not necessarily the case that you have a relationship with them or anything. You might just like them as a person or you might fancy them. But if you say, esa mujer me cae muy bien, there's an indication that there's been some kind of relationship there and you like the kind of personality that person's got, okay? But it doesn't just stick with cae y caen, like gustar. Gustar can be used in other, other senses, the same with this one. For example, um, if you say, I, he doesn't get on well with me or I don't get on well with him, you can say, sabes, no le caigo bien. No le caigo bien. So what are we doing? We're using le to him. And caigo, I fall. So you're saying, I don't fall well on him. He doesn't like me. I recall asking, um, I wanted to say to my teacher in Mexico, my boss doesn't like me. And I, I was trying all kinds of things. You can imagine, uh, it was so, so early on, I was saying, uh, mi jefe no le gusto, mi jefe no, no le gusta, and the poor teacher didn't have a clue what I was talking about. All I was missing was to say, uh, a mi jefe no le caigo bien, okay? My boss doesn't like me, okay? And if I change that round and I said, no me cae bien mi jefe, then I'm saying I don't like my boss, okay? In, in a relationship way. All right, very, very useful little expression. It's caer de bien. So, me, nice and simple. Me cae bien. And you can say, me cae mal. All right? There's no difference between no me cae bien or me cae mal. It's the same thing. You choose. All right, nice one to learn. Um, okay, next one. This one. Claro que sí. Claro que no. Okay, now that liberally translates clear that yes, clear that no. That's the Spanish way of saying of course. Of course and of course not. Okay, so somebody says, eh, Oye, ¿quieres, eh, ¿quieres venir conmigo mañana? ¿Quieres ir conmigo mañana um, de compras? Claro que sí. Of course. Uh -huh. Tú lo has hecho, ¿no? Claro que sí. You've done it, haven't you? Of course. Uh -huh. O, ¿tú lo has hecho? Claro que no. Of course not. Mm -hmm. So, claro que sí. And the, the, the do this a lot, just as an aside, when, when you talk about, you know, he said yes, now that should be dijo sí. Okay? But, very rarely do you hear somebody saying uh, el, el dijo sí, unless that's kind of put them in, in quotes. They tend to say dijo que sí or dijo que no. They tend to put this que there. All right, so he said that, yes, fill in the rest of the sentence. Uh, in Spanish, this happens a lot where they do not finish the sentence or the start a sentence midway like we were talking about, a que. Okay, well, it's the same. Um, somebody says to you, uh, ¿Quieres, ir? ¿Quieres ir? ir conmigo? Que no. Okay, they'll say, que no. That's it. And you think, what, well, that no, that no. But it really what's, what's there is, you know, I'm telling you that no, I don't want to do it. And they just dismiss all of that and just say, que no. Que no, que si, okay? Handy, handy, all right. Um, how are we doing? Right, so we're coming to the end of this video. I'll not move on. Um, I hope these are valuable for you. These expressions are daily, in daily use, okay? They are out and about, they're worth knowing because once you know them, you understand them. When you understand them, 
then you kind of you're fully involved in the conversation. And what happens is when people use these expressions and you don't understand what they mean, it kind of isolates you because you're, you're spending your time thinking, what does that mean? Why why are they doing that? And you you miss such a lot of what's going on. Okay, so it's worthwhile knowing them. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of these videos is that you can always go back and watch them again. Do one at a time. Work on one a day, trying to get one into your head and try and use it in an email or, or write something or speak. Okay, entonces no, nos vemos en el siguiente video. Hasta luego. Adiós.